Welcome to Cloud Dolls. For this video, I'm gonna bring Greta from Gremlins 2 back. First, because she's glamorous, and second, because it's an horror film and it's Halloween, so I thought why not show you the process of transforming a Greta in a haunted Greta. I'm gonna use Giraffin Long because she have the same body texture of Greta. First I cut the hair really short as usual and with my hair dryer I make the vinyl soft and warm so I can take it the leftover hair from the neck hole. And this time, no, it's not possible. It's too much glue so I had to cut it with my exact knife in the back side of the head really careful so I don't cut myself and then with my tweezers I can take the rest of the hair with 100% acetone I'm gonna clean her face take all of the factory paint out including the paint of the head and it's a good time to clean my tools also with the same cotton pad and acetone it's really important so that you can keep your material clean. Now it's time to cut the ears. I'm gonna give her a new ears. This ones that I printed and I'm gonna attach them with a pin and super glue to the head. But first I'm gonna give it the earrings holes. I send it the place of the ears really good and then I attach the resin Greta ears to the head and let it dry. You see the body? It's almost the same as Greta. I just changed the hands for this Venus hands because Greta have three fingers and this hand is missing a finger already so I'm gonna use these ones and cut them so I don't have to destroy a good pair of hands when she sand it and clean it you start to painting her I'm gonna use this pastel green acrylic paint diluted in water and a really soft brush and I give her like five coats of paint let it dry between it In the middle, I'm gonna give her the iconic purple and then a little touches of yellow in the legs, arms and hands. I'm gonna give it also a touch of yellow to the ears in the front side and back side. And I decided to root it, the hair with this green yarn and rose and please don't do this because you can break the paint of the head so do it before it's time for me to super clear as usual I use my mask I give it three layers let it dry between the layers for 30 minutes and I'm gonna start blushing her I'm gonna use first a white soft pastel because I want to give her touches of pink and everyone knows that if you mix pink with green you got like a muddy color and I don't want that so you always have to give her a white base first so that your colors build in a good way I start to give it some shade in the scars that she have in her face I want to give her like Frankenstein bright uh, look I use also my watercolor pencils to do it by the way all of my material are listed 
in the description box below if you're curious to see check it out all of my social media you can find it also in my link three that is also in the description box below and I open uh, a coffee account so if you like my work and if you like my art and if you want to help me directly you can buy me a coffee always and I will appreciate it very much with a green uh, watercolor pencil I give her the iconic eyebrows and I continue shading her face with dark greens, whites, yellows I start building the yellow around the mouth and the nose that is also iconic from Greta and I give it little touches in the eyebrows also I'm gonna give her green eyes and all of this I'm building layer by layer and when I mean layer by layer I mean a layer of Mr. Super Clear when my watercolor pencils don't work in, anymore when I don't get the opacity that I wanted anymore I give her a layer of Mr. Super Clear let it dry for 30 minutes and then I come back and I do it all over again now I'm using a gray watercolor pencil to give it more dimension to the sclera and to the eyes to make them more round As you can see, I'm building layers of colors and opacities. I give her a black eyeliner and the red lips. And of course, we cannot forget the purple eyeshadow of Greta. She's one of my favorite characters. I love her so much. You can do a lot of things with her. She gives me a lot of imagination. With the black watercolor pencil, I give her more deep in the scars on her face. And with the soft pastels, I'm using Rembrandt soft pastels. I give it the little pink touches that I told you about it. And it's time for the eye catchers. I'm using white acryl and a little nail accessory to give it the little touches in the eyes and in the mouth now we're going to start with the clothes I give her a base underwear I use this black ribbon and I close it with my lighter I mark it where I want it and I just cut it they are really basic pants And I'm gonna embellish it with this cotton ribbon and with some flowers and orgasa ribbon also. I print this crinolina or cage, you can call it, in my 3D printer with resin. Now I'm gonna cover it with a satin ribbon in the front side in pink colors and black ones I sew everything by hand because she's really fragile and I'm gonna use this black lace with black ribbon uh, roses that I think is really really beautiful to give it a special touch now I'm gonna finish it in the inside to cover all the imperfections I just glue a ribbon with hot glue directly on her and that's her final look for the topper skirt I'm gonna use this pink tool this pink uh, lace and this black lace then I'm gonna gather in the top and I'm gonna sew it everything in this fake black leather and attach it with gold rings and with a ribbon in the back side I finish with this big Bordeaux uh, satin ribbon and I found this spooky hand 
in my shop here in Holland that I thought was perfect for this project so I'm gonna glue it directly in the back side and I'm gonna decorate it with some flowers also the same ones that I use it in the pens the top I use the same fake letter I close it with the snap button in the back side and I'm gonna use this black elastic lace in a right arm then I'm gonna sew it directly on the top and then I'm gonna close it with the same elastic lace I make her a the long socks I printed the base on the 3d printer and with Wordbla I'm using my hair straightener to these little pieces is enough and I'm building the shoe around the base and I'm gluing them directly with a warbler and with a hot hair straightener now I'm marking where I want to cut it the shape of it I cut it and I paint everything with this pink metal acryl paint after it dried I'm gonna cover with this pink velvet ribbon that I think it's perfect for these shoes and for the look that I want to give it to her I want to give her like a, a rococo look I glue it around with hot glue and then I cut it and I finish everything with the lighter I'm gonna use this purple rose to decorate it some pearls and a lace with a satin ribbon and I'm really proud of my shoes I'm getting better one of my goals is to get better on them so I'm trying that's how they look I think they look really cute I pick up the hair in the top and now I'm gonna give her some curlies with my metal stock and with my hair straightener and I'm using some hairspray to fix it I'm gonna start to make the accessory for the hair I'm gonna use this shoe <laughs> that I printed and I didn't like it so I'm gonna use it as a base I'm gonna use this eye also that I made it for Annabelle it was an extra one so I'm gonna use it in the accessory and I'm gonna glue them together and sand it to make it even and I'm gonna glue these two gremlins hands around it like this I give it some touches with some black soft pastel and I paint the nails in black acryl and I finish with that organza pink and black ribbon and with the same flowers that I use in the skirt and with this I leave you with my haunted Greta I hope you like her as much as I do I love her, I think she's really unique and really sexy also <laughs> and happy Halloween don't forget to subscribe my channel please click the bell button if you don't want to lose any video and happy Halloween I see you in my next video bye
más miedo de lo que siento. ¡Auxilio! ¡Ah!